Just a short walk from Union Station, Olvera Street is a living monument to LA history. This is the oldest part of downtown, and Avila Adobe, where Mike and I were picking grapes, is the oldest building. 200 years ago, when California was a part of Mexico, Olvera Street was surrounded by farms, ranches, and vineyards. Back then, it also had a different name, Wine Street. Yeah, so if we had a time machine, probably we, we could go back 150, 170 years maybe, stand on the roof of the, the adobe here. Mm -hmm. We could probably see El Aliso, right? That majestic sycamore tree and then the, the famed winery. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As you wouldn't have Union Station there to block the view. Right. Uh, you, can, you can see as far as the eye could see from, uh, from the top here. Uh, I know there's some photographs from that period that exist, and you can make out the, uh, the, uh, the tree. It was a landmark. It was. Yeah, it yeah. was for a very, very long time. And Don Aliso, or, or Vignus, he probably grew some mission grapes, right, in addition to the European varietals you well, brought over? He would have had to until he was able to get the better stock sent in from, uh, from France. Right. And so then once he was able to do that and people were making better grapes from, better wine from better grapes, they didn't need the mission anymore. It kind of fell out of favor. And so today, it's, it's actually pretty hard to find mission grapes, like LA's original grape growing in the LA yeah. area. There's a few little places in Santa Barbara County that I know of, and there uh -huh. may be some other ones, but no one knows what they are. There's not a lot of room for vineyards in the LA basin anymore. No, unfortunately <laughs> not. The land, it, the land became more valuable for housing and parking lots and freeways and schools and you know all the other signs of civilization. But before the freeways, the parking lots, the tall buildings, and the Hollywood studios, this was the original California wine country.